Brighton is a seaside resort on the south coast of England that is part of the city of Brighton and Hove, located 47 miles south of London. Archaeological evidence of settlement in the area dates back to the Bronze Age, Roman and Anglo-Saxon periods. Today, Brighton prides itself on its reputation as a cultural and environmental powerhouse. Stylish, progressive, and full of fun, the city has a thriving arts and creative industry, with its reputation for culture bolstered by the Brighton Festival every May. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Brighton, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Sea Life Brighton. The Sea Life Center in Brighton is one of the world's oldest operating aquariums. It was built in 1872, and as you enter, you can see the stunning original Victorian architecture. Visitors can view over 840 stunning sea creatures at the day and night exhibition, including reef sharks, zebra sharks, honeycomb stingrays, and fantail stingrays. Examine the eye-catching beauty of starfish from across the world's oceans in a dazzling display of color, lights, and modern tanks. Then, touch a starfish or an anemone and watch a fish-feeding frenzy. Number 9 is the Royal Pavilion. The Royal Pavilion is a stunning landmark in Brighton. The ornate Grade 1 listed structure, with its onion domes and minarets, was designed by John Nash in the early 19th century and was once a holiday home for George, Prince of Wales. Today, visitors can get a glimpse inside the plush interior, including the banqueting rooms, royal bedrooms, and great kitchen. There is also a fine art gallery and impressive grounds to be explored. At number 8 is the Lanes. When Brighton was a humble fishing village, the quarter now known as the Lanes was the core of the settlement. These narrow streets are now brimming with brilliant independent cafes, bakeries, record shops, vintage emporiums, bookstores, and artwork, all housed in pretty 16th century buildings. Wandering this maze of passageways is a great way to spend an afternoon. Number 7 is Brighton Palace Pier. One of the UK's major landmarks, the Palace Pier pushes out into the English Channel for half a kilometre, at the bottom of the Old Stein through Fair. It opened in 1899, and for most of the 20th century was dominated by a theatre. Since then, the Palace Pier has been an amusement park over the water, with fairground rides, traditional games, and arcades. The pier is free to enter and great for a stroll. At number 6 is Drusilla's Park. Just 30 minutes from Brighton, Drusilla's Park is widely known as the best small zoo in England. It offers a fantastic day out and includes hundreds of exotic animals, from monkeys and meerkats to penguins and pandas. However, the animals are only half the fun, as there are themed adventure play areas, including Go Wild, Go Bananas, and Amazon Adventure. Plus, the ultimate splash experience, Get Wet. Number 5 is Brighton Museum and Art Gallery. Brighton Museum and Art Gallery is located in the Royal Pavilion Garden, at the heart of the city's cultural quarter. Its diverse collections bring together the arts and history to tell stories about the city. The museum holds collections of decorative art, natural sciences, fine art, costumes, textiles, toys, film, and more, all stylishly preserved in absorbing galleries. At number 4 is St. Bartholomew's Church. St. Bartholomew's is a grade 1 listed, striking red brick Victorian church that dates back to 1874. It rises up behind London Road and is visible throughout the city, but its great height is most impressive from within. The architecture was inspired by the Italian Gothic style, and there are horizontal bands of white Portland limestone climbing the south facade. St. Bartholomew's has the tallest nave of any parish church in the country, the walls being 90 feet high, and the lack of aisles tends to emphasize the height even further. A towering cross lies above the altar, and there are also several mosaics and paintings, part of the beautiful decoration of the interior. Number 3 is Brighton Marina. Brighton Marina is set against the backdrop of white cliffs on the East Sussex coastline, just half a mile east of the historic city. It is one of the largest marinas in the UK and has plenty to do for all ages. The marina centers on the busy yacht harbor, with picturesque views of the moored yachts at the quay. A village in its own right, it's a great shopping hub with fashion boutiques, galleries, and crab shops, plus casual eateries with terraces overlooking the water. At number two is Brighton Beach and Seafront. The Pebble Beach is over five miles long and has a Victorian glamour, with a dash of Brighton's youthful energy and style, with bars and clubs keeping the waterfront alive after dark. Take a leisurely stroll along the bustling Brighton Promenade and soak up the cosmopolitan atmosphere at one of the cafes, restaurants, and bars. Relax on the beach or try your hand at one of the many activities, including sailing, kite surfing, volleyball, cycling, and tennis. And at number one is the British Airways I-360. On the seafront stands the British Airways I-360, an observation tower that opened in 2016. The monument is a new landmark for the city and was designed by the team behind the London Eye. Visitors embark on a 25-minute ride in a large pod with 360-degree panoramas at 162 meters above the city and coast. 
When the sun's out, visitors can see the cliffs at Beachy Head and the Isle of Wight, 50 miles to the west. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Brighton. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.